In this video, we're going to talk about sexual harassment. The best way to learn about something is to start with its definition. The definition for sexual harassment is unwanted sexual attention. Unwanted is the most important word in this definition because it makes us know what's happening is different than flirting, which is two-sided and everyone involved wants it. But sexual harassment can look a lot of different ways. We're going to focus on two of them, sexual advances and sexual bullying. Sexual advances are anything that a person does to let someone know that they like them or are attracted to them. It can range all the way from giving unwanted compliments to unwanted sexual touching. Sexual bullying is anything that involves putting someone down for their body or appearance, who they like or are attracted to, or their gender for the purpose of making them feel bad. Examples include calling someone gay as an insult, body shaming, and pantsing. Sexual harassment takes place in four different forms. Physically, using touch, verbally, using words, cyber, using phones or internet, and non-verbally, without words, touch, phones, or internet. We're making a list of examples to show you so you can get an idea of what they look like, but by no means did we cover every example. Can you try to think of one on your own? So there are a couple of ways that behaviors that look like sexual harassment can also be behaviors that we do when we are flirting with someone. You might have noticed on the list before examples like hugging, kissing, or giving compliments. Because these behaviors can be flirting or sexual harassment, it's really important to know the difference between them because they can look similar sometimes. The thing that makes them different is that sexual harassment is unwanted and flirting is wanted. So if you ask to kiss someone and they say yes, this is flirting. But if you kiss someone without asking them and they seem weirded out, this is harassment. This brings us to our three rules for successful flirting. One, start slow. If you like someone, it's worth getting to know them a little before you rush into the sexual stuff. Flirting can also start out as building a friendship. Also, if you're going too fast, you're probably gonna make someone feel weird. By going slow, you give them a chance to set the pace with you, and you make it less likely that you'll cross the line. Two, pay attention. Watch their body language for clues about how they're feeling. When you are giving sexual attention, it is your job to watch for the other person's signs. Signs like someone's facial expression, tone, and body language are good ways to tell if they're into it or not into it. If they're uncomfortable, you should stop, step back, and maybe even apologize. It's not their job to get you to understand what went wrong. Actually, it's your job to make an effort to understand. Three, don't be creepy. Nobody wants to be a creep and it probably won't help you get dates. And sometimes it's not on purpose. To avoid making someone uncomfortable, follow the golden rule. Treat others how you like to be treated and try to put yourself in that person's shoes. At the end of the day, no one deserves to be sexually harassed. There are plenty of people who are in positions to help you if you ever need to talk about sexual harassment you've experienced or seen happen. You can talk to your parents, you can talk to your school staff, or you can talk to us, the Orange County Rape Crisis Center. You can call us at 866-935-4783 or text us at 919-504-5211. You can also chat with us if you go to our website, ocrcc.org. All of our helplines are available at all times, 24-7, in English and in Spanish.